Yeah, and that's what we're looking to do, uh, change our form around. Um, again, we're playing against a really good side, but uh, for me, it's the best fixture of the season, so one that we're really looking forward to. Daniel Barker was talking about how it was going to be a real battle out there. Yeah, and that's what, what we've got to do. We've got to make this place hard to come to. Um, Friday was disappointing, uh, especially when we felt we were on top in the game and then conceded so late on. So we might need to be... Uh, okay. Can't use this term today. You know we will. Right. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I? Yeah. Oh, that's well. kind. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
after a sold-out Deepdale. e and &E expecting their biggest league attendance since 1971, this Boxing Day. Leeds United, the visitors to Lancashire. And Battle of the Roses. e and &E could certainly do to win. North End making five changes from defeat down at Swansea. Ryan Lowe in his programme note saying this is an opportunity to send ourselves into the new year with some valuable points. Craig Hemmings and Peter Ridsdale have delivered a statement of faith in Ryan Lowe. acres of space, chance to put some quality in the box, Potts lifts it in, Melier's underneath it, and he beats Ben Whiteman to it, and then throws out a flailing arm at the north end number four, Melier has pushed Osmaric in the face here, and this is interesting, it's a red card, the Leeds United goalkeeper has lost his head, he's sent off inside, eight minutes in the second half, at Preston North End, have at least a man advantage and could well have a penalty. Yeah, goalkeeper's lost his head completely there. Head to head with Ben Whiteman. As Myers pushed him away, he's thrown out an arm. Obviously caught as much in the face. Referee has seen it. Here's an opportunity for North End now. Preston North End attack. The crowd doing their best to rally Preston North End themselves as Liam Miller has the ball on the left, crosses from deep, Brown attacks it! And as night follows day, Alan Brown scores on Boxing Day! The 
skipper headed past Darlow. And Preston North End have the advantage. Alan Brown delivers after Christmas again. The present for the Preston North End faithful. It's North End 1, Leeds United 0. Another system, Liam Miller, cutting on his right foot, coming inside, whipping that ball in. It nearly happened in the first half. Right early on, he came in, whipped the ball in a goal. Alan Brown was inches away. This time, he's connected with the ball, sent the keeper the wrong way, back into where the ball's come from, across goal, into the back of the net. Fantastic header from Alan Brown. North End with a man advantage, but at the moment unable to make it count. Roden flips it up to Joseph, nods it down for Nonto, who let it run across him. Hughes steps in and wins it. Hughes now lifts it over the top of Gray. Miller's giving chase. The ball curl and stay in play. Miller drops a shoulder, drives into the box. Liam Miller. Liam Miller! Woodman smashes forward, the full-time whistle sounds and Preston North End have victory! After three without a win at home, Preston North End supply a Boxing Day surprise! They had to show resilience and fortitude, having gone ahead but been pegged back. Liam Miller playing the starring role after Alan Brown got the scoring started. It's a boxing day to remember for Preston North End in front of a sellout crowd. It's finished. Preston North End 2, Leeds United 1. Fantastic for the players, fantastic for the club. It's important, like you say, that uh, we picked up a result today after being on the back foot. A result probably nobody apart from the inner walls of North End expected, and that's such a good day for the uh, for the club.
doing good for it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's better than coming here last time. Didn't we before my first game, we got beat 5 1. <laughs> so it's a bit better winning today, 2 1. We're good? Yeah, yeah. Michael, great to see you here you, at Deepdale. How enjoyable was that to watch? Yeah, we're good. Uh, first half, we were end to end, all good. And then obviously their keeper was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Being a bit silly, but no, it was a good win. Mate, we needed them three points as well. And yeah, hopefully that puts us a little bit of a spark for the boys now going ahead for the rest of the season. We've seen you here a couple of times this season yeah. already, a bit last season as well. Is, is that the most enjoyable match you've watched? Uh, yeah, it's up there. It's good, especially being against Leeds as well. I'm, I'm a St. Helens boy and even with the rugby we don't like Leeds. So it's even better that Preston beat them as well. So it's, it's up there as a really good win for us. Ladies and gentlemen, as promised, the epic global solutions. Yeah, I just think if we come in with the same attitude we came in today, it just doesn't matter who we play against, we play like that every week, we'll, we'll be alright. Well, Liam, amazing performance today. Let's say hello to Now, as part of the Man of the Match, Liam gets to give £500 to his chosen charity, who have had quite a bit this season, let's face it, Tippy Toes Baby Bank. Overall, just massively pleased for everyone, the fans included. I thought the fans were different class today. Um, you know, in the programme notes and, and, and the interviews over the last few days of making this a force to sell out and to get roared off the pitch at half time. I used that at half time for the players. I went, look, there you go, they've given you that roar. Let's go and roar it again because when the winners are again, um, backing us a million percent, I know we have to do our bit on the pitch, the lads, of course, we get that, respect that, but that's what it brings. And when full houses like that and the big teams are in town, then that's how we perform. But listen, it's all right doing it against Leeds. We've got to go again now against another good team, and you know we've got to make sure we, we, we recover the lads right and, and, and go and try and do something similar. Um, but it's what we've got to look forward to. We've got to be again on the front foot, and you know we'll have a look whether we freshen up and different players, personnel. But listen, I think the lads will get get, get down to recovery. We'll get in tomorrow, and then we'll set the game plan. But we want to try and match the same as we did today, and we want to keep trying to find the formula to win more games of football. What I will say, the lads have been a credit to work with, even when the results are not going good. We're getting off a flight late, on, as, you, as you were well with us, Tom, on Friday. Disappointing, we've got to gear, gear them up, get them bubbly again, and we've done that, and we roll on again to the next one.